Hello everyone, welcome back to Perfume Tales. I hope you are doing well. The tale of this video will be recounted on this green carpet. Uh, I am in the countryside. Uh, as you can see, my review will be going to be on BBK Louis Charnel. I have blind by this fragrance based on some reviews. Uh, I rarely blind buy perfume, but I was intrigued by the notes. Uh, and I am happy that I did because it is a successful blind, blind buy. Uh, if you are interested in all my thoughts on Gris Charnel, keep on watching. Uh, if you are new here, please feel free to subscribe. It is really helps my uh, channel grow. So, uh, what intrigued me in this scent? Uh, what is it smells like? What I love the most in is the fig note. It has something nostalgic. Uh, it took me back to my childhood in the north of Morocco, a small village near Shafshawan. Uh, the summer bell smells like a fig. Uh, there was a fig trees around the house and the mountain nearby. Uh, the first thing that we did in the morning was to accompany my grandfather to pick figs from the trees. Uh, such a happy moment and a good sweet memories. Uh, Gris Charnel uh, took me back there instantly. It has such realistic fig leaves with milkiness and uh, slightly juiciness. Uh, this is a fig tree with its leaves and figs and woods. Uh, uh, Gris Charnel is woody, spicy, aromatic kind of fragrance. Uh, this is for man and woman. Uh, came out in 2019. The notes are in the top, cardamom, fig, black tea. Uh, in the mid, iris and vetiver. In the base, sandalwood and tonka bean. Such a good combination to create this amazing uh, scent. On my skin, uh, this fragrance smells mostly fig, cardamom, black tea and sandalwood. It opens up with uh, spicy, milky fig and black tea. The three notes uh, listed on the top, I mean cardamom, fig, black tea, are all noticeable. Uh, and you can enjoy them in the whole fragrance journey, I would say. Uh, it doesn't disappear and still there in the, uh, in the background, uh, especially fig and cardamom. Uh, it is nearly and slightly, uh, it has nearly and slightly uh, fresh uh, opening but not super fresh uh, the fig has that natural milkiness uh, to me uh, this is the best fix uh, the best fig scent ever uh, i prefer this one over santal blonde by van cleef and arpels uh, it is slightly juicy with a hint of sweetness uh, the fig in here is more like you smell uh, the leaves and the fruits uh, together uh, as it dries down you get that warm creamy sandalwood with tonka it is so smooth and well blended uh, it is slightly powdery but not too much if you go for this scent for the iris that wouldn't be a good choice the iris in here is shy uh, at least on my skin it has that comforting aspect, warm and cozy, perfect for fall and winter. Uh, if you are woody, spicy fragrance lovers, this scent could be all year round in my opinion. Uh, it is not loud and uh, overwhelming. Uh, this is not your heavy fill the room kind of scent, however it is long lasting i get from this almost eight hours if i wear it before bed i bed i could smell it the next morning the projection is moderate for for my liking uh, this has an amazing performance and longevity 
Moreover, this is a compliment getter. Uh, I get a compliment the most of the time I wear it, which I didn't expect at all. Uh, this is perf perfect as an everyday scent. Uh, I have been wearing this fragrance to work the most part of January. Uh, it can put you in a good mo mood. This scent put me in the vibe like I am in my grandfather's field between the fig trees, uh, drinking a nice black tea uh, with a fig milk flavored with cardamom. Uh, it, it makes sense. So, if you love Santal Blom by Van Cleef and Arpels, I highly recommend this scent because it performs way better and the fig note is more prominent. Also, uh, if you like Crystal, Crystal Noir by Givenchy, you make love Gris Charnel, both they put you in the same vibe. However, Gris Charnel is smoother and creamier. Uh, that is my thought on Gris Charnel by Biggie K. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, smell good, and see you the next week. Bye.